In this work, we present a domain invariant vision transformer learner for face anti spoofing. Face anti spoofing models have been widely used in digital security systems to prevent impersonation by fake faces. Benefiting from the capability of deep neural networks, existing FOS models achieve high performance on a single baseline or domain. However, the query images are usually from unknown domains and real world applications. As the figures show, the images from different domains have different lighting conditions or color tones, resulting in decreased performance for FOS models. Hence, handling data from unknown domains is still challenging for face anti-spoofing. To address the cross-domain problem, some studies aim to construct the domain-generalized FOS model. Currently, the leading domain-generalized FOS methods centralize all the real faces of different domains in the latent space and unify the attack faces of different domains into different groups. In this work, we adopt a different strategy to construct a domain invariant latent space. In this space, the real faces from different domains are centralized as well. The difference is that we unify the data of same attack type from different domains to a group instead of unifying the data of same domains. Furthermore, considering that the spoofing patterns are globally distributed over the attacked face image, transformer based models that can capture long range dependencies are more suitable for FOS tasks. To improve computing performance, we adopt a lightweight but efficient transformer model, Mobile VIT, as the backbone in this work. This page shows the concept of our proposed domain invariant vision transformer, DIVT. We design two loss terms to constrain the distribution of latent features for input faces. The first loss is domain invariant attack separation loss. We apply the cross entropy classification loss to classify the images to the categories of real faces and different attack types. It separates different attack types and real faces from each other and forces the model to learn a domain in sensitive latent space. The second loss is concentration loss. For all real faces from different domains, we apply L1 loss to centralize their features on the origin of the embedding space. Since the real face patterns are unified while the attack type has infinite possibilities, we merely center the features of real face and let the spoofing features distributed in the space. We evaluate our method using four public FOS datasets. The top table shows the amount of real and spoof videos utilized in our experiment. We adopted the leave one out testing setting in which the model is trained on three of the datasets and then tested on the remaining dataset. The half total error rate, HDER and the area under curve, AUC are utilized as the evaluation metrics. The bottom table shows the results of our approach and previous competitive methods. Compared to the previous state-of-the-art domain generation FOS methods, our proposed DIVT achieves better performance on almost all evaluation sets. The improvement of HTER in our work is particularly significant. We investigate the effectiveness of two core components in our method. When both the losses are not used, we employ binary cross-entropy loss. The results reveal that both components are effective for improving the vision transformer on domain-generalized FOS tasks. Thank you for listening.